people? How's it going? Got another vape review for you on the Mara Vape Skyline M6. This is the white version. Um, love it. Been using it for about a week or two. Um, at first, I didn't really like it, which I will explain why. Um, but you know, as far as now, I love this thing. Um, it's hard. You just got to know how to use that button correctly, where to, how to press it in, and you know, there's this, you can't, there's a certain spot you just have to press it in. Um, at least that's my honest opinion. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna go up and close and show you the box and everything. The box, as you can see, looks just like the man actual Manhattan box. Uh, same thing. Magnetic door. Um, yes, like I told you, I have been using it, so bear with me. It may be a little dirty. Here's the mod itself. Mirror vape engraving. The button is recessed a little bit compared to the Manhattan itself, um, but you can adjust that button. Copper 510 connection. Um, brass button. Uh, it also comes with two extra copper 510 connectors. Um, they all do believe I, I do believe they're all the same size. Um, I haven't swapped them out or anything. But uh, let me set the camera down. Sorry, I'm playing some Battlefield. Take the mod apart itself. Um, the white version, I like it. I like how it feels. It's not this brushed feeling. Um, it is a copper mod. I'll take off the button. For some reason, it looks brass, but it is copper, trust me. Um, there's the copper contact for the bottom. The magnet takes a little bit of pressure to get it to go, but um, yeah. As you see, there's the venting holes. Um, that little carter pin type thing that holds in that uh, top magnet. Uh, and then the bottom magnet sits inside the actual button itself sorry excuse me um, I really like this switch uh, like I said I had to actually learn how to use it compared to like my Stingray which is magnetic but it's a complete different type of magnet um, but yeah here's the copper 510 pin it's self adjusting so you know you push it in and you screw your Addy in and it'll push it out you can also take this adjust this little Delrin insulator which mine wasn't in all the way there now it's in all the way all right there we go let me uh show you how the ins the pin will push itself out got my doge v2 on here oh yeah it would help if i push the pin down a little bit I don't know if you can see it, but the pin is self-adjusting itself. Um, there is a gap, but that's because that Delrin insulator is fully screwed in. So you just loosen the insulator. Screw your tank down as flush as you want it. Then you s screw the insulator back up, push the pin up a little bit. There you go tank sitting flush um, I got a review coming up on the Doge V2 soon Let me put the bottom back on hey <laughs> you this will pretty much screw on either way it looks the same um, no matter which way you go but mirror vape logos will be upside down if you do it the wrong way I always leave this a little bit looser when I go to it on the top piece because um, I noticed there is a gap I don't know if that's just I don't know how to adjust that pin then again I have my tank sitting flush but uh, I will come back and uh, take a little vape it was just a quick little review hope you guys enjoyed it take a little vape and then uh, let you guys go on your way maybe I do a review on the Doge V2 soon I just built it 20 gauge 6 wraps each Point one two. Um, yeah, here's a little vape of it, and then hope everyone has a good weekend.
Cheers. <laughs>